So this side will have a peel ply, so I'm <clears throat> deliberately uh, just adding too much uh, epoxy here, but it's it's going to be taken care of by the peel ply. And by using the peel ply, if you're really concerned about the weight of your laminate, I, I think you could use do one side at a time and use peel ply and you'll probably get a few grams out of the laminate. I'm going to use small pieces of this for the sheeting system on the big 12 meters. I'm, ah, I have to admit I'm cheating a little bit. We're getting a little bit of a break in the weather here where it's going to be hopefully in the in a not too far distance I can sail the boat but I need a sheeting system and as you if you saw the blog I put out I managed to I was stupid and didn't think to read the manual for the radio and managed to break the sheet system sheeting system that I had but this is supposed to be part of the removable sheet system So this laminate has a three millimeter foam core and this is 80 kilograms per cubic meter. So it's very, very hard and makes for a great laminate, especially if you do that, I would suggest use the peel ply, do one side at a time. I didn't feel like I had time to do or time I have all the time in the world, but I didn't mess with that right now for, for these because I will cut small pieces out of this but I wanted something more rigid that's why I put two layers of carbon on each side so while while we're waiting for that to harden uh, I'll show you some uh, sailing pictures of my new mini rival number 433 so enjoy and uh, thank you very much for all your nice comments and that you're subscribing to my channel I uh, I wished I could show more progress, but I have worked. The day job has really taken its toll the last three or four weeks here. So I hope to do another video during Christmas break with more updates. Thank you. Bye.